else would it be? <laughs> well, a high school in Illinois is getting some national attention today over a controversial new policy requiring its students to submit to random alcohol tests. Garrett Tenney's live in Chicago with more on this story. Garrett? Well, Jenna, it's certainly a step up from health class and pep talks, and where those may fall short, this school says testing for alcohol never fails. <laughs> Keeping drinking a secret from your parents just got a little harder for teens at St. Viter High School outside Chicago. This fall, the private Catholic school began weekly random alcohol testing for its students. This policy is aimed at helping kids say no and aimed at helping kids who are starting to get into the habit of using alcohol change. Using small hair samples, the simple but extremely accurate tests reveal if a student has had anything more than an occasional glass of wine in the past 90 days. A majority of students support the testing, and many who don't even drink say it's helped. If you're at like a party and someone offers you alcohol, you know, you can say, I might be alcohol tested, and that eases so much peer pressure off of you. The ACLU opposes such testing, though, saying it's an invasion of privacy and overreaching by the school. We have a mechanism in society which is designed to control and to punish young people if necessary when they use alcohol or drugs. They're called parents. Maybe in the public school system, that's a winning argument. But in a Catholic school, it's really not. Because if you're a community, if you care for each other, then you work together. And this type of alcohol testing has only been around in the U.S. since June. So a lot of other schools all across the country are keeping a close eye on St. Vider and the few others that are currently using the testing. Jenna? I'm so curious what our viewers think about this, uh, Garrett. I'm sure a lot of different opinions out there.